Hey, is William there? Speaking. Hey, William, this is RJ Bates, Scotty Batch Property on Overlook Drive. You uh, it entered it on our website saying you're looking to sell that property. Yes. Excellent. How much are you looking to get for that one? Well, I owe around forty six on it, and I got a couple offers like around eighty on it, but it needs a kitchen. And wiring needs done in the basement, and the bathroom needs, like, updated. It's done, but my uncle screwed it up. Gotcha. How come you didn't accept those $80,000 offers? I was just looking around. I mean, I just, that was like six months ago when they offered me that. I mean, I had the real estate about a year ago, so I, she told me I could put it up for, like, 95 and you know, I mean, see somebody could get it. Right. But I'm just getting, because my ex left me for a black dude five years ago, and she won't leave the area. She's like two blocks from me. And she's just causing, you know, causing me problems, and then just, I'm just sick of it. I see. I just want to sell it, and just, I just want to go. All right. Uh, so how much you, how much would you be willing to accept today? Well, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure what this damn place is worth, but I mean, the real estate said if I do the kitchen and the wiring myself and just do the odds and ends in the bathroom, I'd probably get 140 for it. Because I would, I would remodel the whole house myself between the drywall, flooring, wiring, yeah, I mean, it just, the only thing that's not new in this house is the hot water thing. Yeah, but you said you wanted to be done. So I'm saying that just to be done and, and I'll send you a contract and you can get the hell out of there in three, four weeks. You don't, you don't do anything. I mean, what, I mean, what do you think? I mean, I just, 80,000, I'm guessing? I mean, I, I mean, I gotta make sure I have enough left over on the phone. I can at least buy another house. That's what I'm worried about. I got gotcha. you. Well, the way that we work is, is there's no commissions. There's no closing costs. There's none of that. We're, we're a cash offer. Um, so we're, we're saving you right there on the fact that there's no commissions or anything like that. The only thing that you would have to pay is, you know, your mortgage, any liens on the property, which I doubt there are any. And then uh, whatever your prorated taxes are for this year. So um, pretty much we're, we're going to make you a, a fair offer uh, that, you know, you can just walk away from the property as quickly as possible and then try to make it as easy as possible. Um, the problem with 80 is, is that, I mean, like you said, you got to make sure there's meat on the bone, right? So yes. I, I got to make sure the same thing. Um so tell me again, it needs a kitchen. Does it need the cabinets and the countertops and the appliances and everything? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then the bathroom, I mean, we're talking about we're we're doing a new tub, vanity. Oh no, no, it just it's it the bathroom's done. It just my uncle put the draw drywall up wrong. You know what I mean? He forgot to like tape it and mud it and everything else. I mean it's I mean, I could rip that drywall back out of there and we do it myself but i just don't have time and i just don't want to do it anymore and then when you said wiring what what needs to be done with the wiring in the basement it needs to be wired in the basement there's wire already down there like all new wiring already been set up i gotcha. just gotta you know run them to the lights and just hook them and then what kind of flooring does the the property have I put that laminate flooring down, which is my first time doing it, and it's pretty much it. I screwed it up. <laughs> okay, so the the flooring is gonna have to get fixed, right? Yes. Gotcha. And then, uh, what about the drywall throughout the rest of the property? Is it in okay shape, or does it need to be fixed as well? No, that's all. That's all done. I that's all been up, mud, painted, and everything else. It just the living room needs repainted. Because I, re I re-sanded a little bit more of it because it was still, you know, rough spots here and there. So I re-sanded it. So the house probably needs repainted. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Made the roof. I mean, I got I play I got that put on between like 2014 or 13, one of those years. The same thing with the central air. Man, the only thing that's not really updated in there is the furnace. Not the furnace, um, the hot water tank. That's like almost 10 years, I think. Gotcha. Man, like, best, the best I could tell you is just come out and like, take a look at it and see what you see what you guys think. I'm about to tell you what I think I can do. It's 936 square feet, right? Yes. Yeah, I can send you, like, update pictures, too, if you like. Yeah, I'll probably get those for you here in a second, but I'm going to give you a pretty general idea. I mean, I do this all day, every day, so I I mean, I, I pretty much know where I need to be just based off the information you just gave me. Depot three months ago, and they told me I could get like cabinets and a bottom base for about at least thirty five to four thousand. Right. But I'm the the way I'm looking at it is I got to do the the kitchen. You know, I got to do the cabinets. I got to do the appliances. I got to do the the countertops. You know, all the other shit that comes along with that. The the faucet and the sink and all that. I got to repaint. I got to redo those floors. I got to do the bathroom. I got to do the wiring down in the basement. I mean, I'm just adding that up. I mean, to be honest with you, man, I, I probably need to be, I probably need to be between 65,000 and 70,000. Like trying to take it off my hands. That means you don't have to do anything that's as is and, and we get it done in the next three to four weeks. If I take a loss, I'll take a loss. You know what I mean? I don't care anymore. I mean, you offer me 70000 you just come take this stupid thing. I, I just don't want it. <laughs> and I, and, and I guess I owe around 46 on it. And uh, my taxes are due, I think, March is my state taxes, I think, comes in, I believe, which is like 243 something. Still there? Yep. So what do you what do you think? And if I accept seventy thousand, will you guys will come out or give me a different offer if it's something you know doesn't add up? I mean, we're gonna come out. We're gonna look at it. Um, but I mean, we're we're gonna have to walk the property and verify all the conditions of what you told me. But I would say. Uh, you know, 95% of the time, the offer that I'm giving you right now is going to be the offer that we are going to move forward with. All right. Like I said, I mean, I'm a honest person. I mean, like I said, you, come, you guys come in and look at it. Well, I mean, that's why I, I feel confident in the offer because you told me that there's shit wrong with the house. I mean, majority well, of the time, what I get told from people I, is, is everything's great. There's nothing needs to be done. And then we come out and we're like, hey, what about this kitchen? What about this bathroom? What about this well, wiring? You know, you told well, me already. Well, that's why, you know, I told you, you know, you know, heads up what's wrong with it. Right. Man, I'm, I'm still living here. You know, man, I'm, so I've been living here for, um, since 2013. Right. Yeah, I mean, it just, I put her, like, a brand new front door in, which is, like, that big glass oval thing. A uh, brand new back door. There's, like, brand new windows all out through the house. It's all brand new. I got it from Home Depot. So, I mean, whoever buys it, the life warranty will be you know, all to the new owner. Okay. But, I mean, like I said, when you come out, you can see all the brand new windows, brand new doors. You know, I mean, you'll see all that. Well, would you like for me to send over an agreement for the 70000 Yes. Okay. Let me verify I've got your email correct here. It's uh
five at gmail.com. Yes, sir. Okay. Give me uh, just a couple minutes here and I'll get this sent over to you. You, uh, you mind hanging out on the phone while I write this up? So if you have any questions, you can take a look at it. Uh, yes. All right. Give me just a few seconds. I'm going to put a closing date of February 8th. What's that? I'm going to put a close I'm going to put a closing date of February 8th on or before. Okay. Did you guys did you guys, did you guys have time to come out sometime tomorrow like in the evening to take a glance at it? Um possibly yes. I can uh okay. I can see if I can make that work. All right, I'm putting it in the DocuSign right now to, to send over to you so you can take a look at it. I'm, I'm still waiting for it to come through my email. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uploading it right now. All right, should be coming over any second now. All right. Yep, I think I just received it. Yep. Just kind of, I'm just reading it too. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, the question is, if I uh, like accept the offer, like, do I got to pay off the mortgage on my end? Will you guys sort of take care of that on your end? It, it gets taken care of at the title company at closing. So when we wire the funds in, the title company is going to pay off the mortgage and then cut you a check for the difference. Okay. I wasn't sure how that, all that works. That's what I was asking. Yeah, because they want to, they get the release of lien for me and all of that. To, so I verify that it gets paid off. So yeah, it all gets taken care of right there at closing. 
Taxes got to be paid up also for the whole year, correct? Uh, yeah. So that's also going to get taken care of at closing as well. So the title company will look up what's owed for the property taxes, and then they'll pay that at closing as well. All right, because like I said, all my taxes are paid up last year. Right. So then, for this year, you would only pay for however long you own you own it. So for this, it would be through February 8th. So you'd pay a month and eight days worth of taxes. Okay. That's the next question I was about to ask because I know my state's coming in. I think March, I believe it is. Right. So everything's prorated to for however long you've owned it. All right. So once I do, <clears throat> then once I do sell it, like everything, when you guys come look at it, if you guys like what you see, if you guys find something else wrong with it, like down the road, will that fall back on me, or it's just like no, I'll take care of it? no. Once once we close on it and it's sold, then you have no no liabilities. All right, because like I said, I. I'm just being honest with you. What I what I did when it's when it's property. So yeah, no. Once we buy it, it's it's our problem, not yours. All right, that's the question I was kind of worried about. All right, so all I gotta do is just sign this thing, and then you guys be out tomorrow. Yep, just go ahead and sign it down there, and then uh, Cassie, who is my partner slash transaction coordinator, she'll call you. She'll schedule our showings and, and come out and we'll do our thing. That's the next step in the process. All right. Like I said, I should be home tomorrow, like by three o'clock. I'm not sure if that works for you guys or not. Yeah, we just have to call and, and, and verify, but it, it should be. Um, so I'll, I'll, as soon as I get off this phone call, I'll, uh, I'll verify and make sure that we can get out there as quickly as possible. Yeah, I really appreciate it helping me out. I just want—I just want to get out of here. Yeah, I got you, bud. Well, we're gonna get you out of there as quickly as possible. That's why I just. All right, I signed it, and my phone number's on there. Awesome, buddy. Uh, the password. Uh, no, it's it's done. It just it on. That's where the default screen goes to. I don't know why, but no, I got it. It's completed. Um, so I appreciate that, buddy. And uh, like I said, Cassie will call you probably uh, tomorrow morning, and uh, we'll get things rocking and rolling then, okay? All right. Do uh, you know what time tomorrow morning? Because I'll be at work. Um, I'll tell her to shoot you a text before and ask you when would be a good time to talk on the phone, okay? All right. I'll let, I'll let my driver know to keep out you know, keep out on my phone for me if it does go off. All right. Sounds good, man. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, man. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.